I guess. So today we're going to talk about a brand new frame from Leibach & York. He is uh, churning out some new styles on us again. Always try to keep up with these. This is the latest and greatest just landed, just released globally a few days ago to kick off the new year. This is the model Canberra. So let's dive in and take a look at it. Of course, I'll start this video with the frame we all know and love, my Amsterdam, which is also a live walk in York. Yeah. If you're new here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the notifications, ring the bell, all that stuff so you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest, greatest seeing new exclusive launches like these guys. And of course, how to take care of them, keep them fitted properly, keep things adjusted and looking great all around. Yeah, let's do that now. On to Canberra. This is a new and lovely little stunner. It crosses the border between butterfly and cat eye shape because we've got that nice uplifting edge of the Canberra in this very trim, very sleek, slightly edgy with some nice and vibrant colors. So we have this three colors. I only have two of them on hand, sorry. And that is the candy red, which really does not display well in the light over there. That is this little girl here absolutely stunning. Pictures don't do this one much justice because we have that nice strong uplift over here. Cuts back across the top, a little bit of a brow dip, making this one a little bit more feminine, but not superbly so. This is actually really fun to wear for a lot of different ways. We make a nice slick pair of sunglasses, I think, but that's not what it is. The blue, I'm always partial to blues. This one's a little bit softer overall, kind of that milky almost transparent, but not quite, not opaque, right there in between. These are both that kind of a color. It's just got that little bit of a soft translucence to it. Really nice balance, which Leibach & York is known for. Sizing on this one's a little bit more RX friendly than some of the others out there, especially in this butterfly shape, which as I mentioned, this kind of crosses that border because we have that really flat bottom edge, which is what defines it. Now, Aside from that, fit, feel overall is good. As I mentioned, sizing is gonna be really good for your RX stuff. This one, we have a 51 millimeter lens area, 16 bridge area. It's gonna be really good on those more petite faces, but obviously it still has a really good wide fit for larger faces. This one's gonna have a really wide range of faces that it can work on with some very minor adjustment tweaks. Really, really good stuff in my opinion. Always with the Leibach in York, we have a very clean edge, a really great polish. Nothing in particular that stands out in terms of logos, which is kind of their thing. Very minimal, very sleek, nice color blocking, really good wild fun colors without a whole lot of extra stuff on there. Really hit a good market segment with that, in my opinion. Temple length on these guys are going to be 145, which is fairly common on the Leibach and York stuff. We don't see anything super short or super long with them. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you do have a more petite face, as I mentioned, with this one being a little bit smaller, but still having that little bit longer temple. So just keep that in mind if you have a really small petite face. There's going to be a little bit extra back here that needs some adjusting and work. Uh, that actually can be trimmed and fined down a little bit more. That's gonna throw off the balance of the frame. It's not really great to get into that if you don't have to, especially with a frame that's as well thought out as these guys are. As all with off the top tip bah. As always with the Leibach and York frames, it is Italian Mazzucchelli acetate. It's a really good material. And then we have the Italian five barrel hinges, which I am always a fan of. These in particular have a little bit of adjustment built into them for the panoscopic tilt. Really good stuff there. They're set around six degrees, pretty standard for Leibach and York. Nothing too, too crazy there that really stands out. All a good fit, all a good look, all the good things they like to see from Leibach. I'll keep this one short and sweet because we already know a lot about Leibach and York, especially if you've been here long. If you haven't, well, you've got a lot to learn. Hit that playlist and get going through it. The Ross, I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you think of Canberra, which I have probably said Cranberra or Cranberry at some point. Anyway, catch you guys next time.